10 years from now, Dan? Uh, I'll be an electrical engineer. Electrical, electrical engineering? Yeah. Well, in 10 years, I hope to be 25 years old. I'd like to be rich. I'd like to live in Paris. Um, I hope to be in med school, studying to be a surgeon. 
Well, what I'd like to be doing is uh, laying on the beach and playing golf, playing tennis, and all of those kind of fun things. Probably plan to be in a university, probably around, I don't know, until I'm like 27, just to get some extra like master's degrees or something. So I, I really enjoy learning. Um, playing basketball. Playing professional basketball in the NBA. Woo! Probably be, I'll probably have a red Ferrari, live in California in the world's largest condo, and be the richest man in the world. Uh, I'm considering a career in brain surgery or rocket science or the custodial arts. What I want to do in 10 years, I want to be in law. Either that and put her behind bars because she's crazy. I don't know, maybe I'll graduate Pope in about 10 years. <laughs> 10 years from now, I'll probably get my driver's license just like Jenny. <laughs> Heavenly days. I'll be so old, I'll probably be staying right at home. Oh, no, you don't be that old. <laughs> you better believe it. I want to be a brain surgeon. I see myself in a sleigh delivering presents at Christmas. Oh, I'll probably be a garbage man or uh, a plumber. They make good money. Yeah. Doing something important as an engineer or something like that. Be a bass player for a metal band, dude. Probably on somebody's lake doing some fishing, I hope. Probably fixing air conditioners. I'm going to be the principal of Pope.
Texas from the freshman class. Congratulations to Ginger Steinberg. <laughs>
Young Americans of the USS Stark gave up their lives so that the terrible moments of the past would not be repeated. Well, they were great. And as he pulled documents from each drawer and placed them on top of the shredder, I inserted them into the shredder. It was always the intention to make this a self-sustaining operation. We believe that the president is responsible I am a candidate for the Republican nomination for President of the United States. Now, clearly, under present circumstances, this campaign cannot go on. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. The yeas are 42, the nays are 58. On. The nomination is not confirmed. I have today asked President Reagan not to forward my nomination to the Supreme Court. Let's let the people decide. I'm back in the race. I have sort of felt like a person without a country. I am the baby's mother. Hill and I are very, very sorry that we started out as a very nice thing, had to end up like this. If the owners refuse to accept uh, this condition of returning to work, we're out for the duration. All the business indices are up. There is nothing wrong with the economy. How many are there of you? Oh, there's a bunch of them, about 40. How many? 40. In the bus? The aircraft is upside down. Uh, uh, most of the wings are gone. The fuselage is separated. The aircraft, in fact, did uh, become the site of a, of a criminal act. It went down. My girlfriend says, oh, my God, it's hit the expressway. We've been treated real well by these detainees from the beginning of this ordeal.
There's clapping. I want to tell everybody in the world, thank you for all of your caring. We love all of you. Dovii no provii. Trust but verify. <laughs> we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense. I came here to tell the truth. I told you that I was going to tell it to you, the good, the bad, and the ugly.
I would give to current and post students. My advice to current and post students was with no, Don't start yet, don't start yet, okay. Okay, you're asking me what advice I would give to Pope High School students? I would tell current Pope students that uh, the best advice I could give them would be to be themselves. I tell uh, Pope students to appreciate where you are, be glad you're not at Walton or Lassiter or one of those other schools in our area. Be happy, uh, try to make a lot of money, and always be positive. You enjoy your life before you get saddled with responsibilities. And, uh, I'd ask the students to take pride in, in the school and also in the staff here.
What do I most like about your generation? Well, um... Okay, what, phrase that question again. What I most like about your generation is that you tend to go out in large groups of people. You're not hung up on having a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and you know how to have fun and have honor your friendships. Okay, I guess what I like most about this generation is their enthusiasm for everything that they do. Your clothes. Okay. Yeah. Um, what advice do you... <laughs> I like baggy clothes. Yeah. I think teenagers today are more open than we were when we were teenagers, more willing to accept people who are not like themselves. We also have a lot of kids that care about their school, and they care about the things that their school stands for, and they care about getting a good education, and we try to support that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Miss Fox.
been asked to give a summation of the year, uh, a review of the year, and, and what's been successful at Pope, and what we have to look forward to next year. And I think one of the most important things about Pope this year, of course, is the fact that we did move into our facility on time. It is a beautiful facility. It was well built. And the people that were employed at Pope, the teachers and all the staff members have done a magnificent job this year. So both from the standpoint of the people here at Pope, and also the facility, we, we've gotten very, very fortunate, and it's, it's been a marvelous year among those two things. I think in terms of the students, uh, probably the one thing that I've been happiest about is that when we started the school year, probably 50 or 60 percent of the students here wanted to be at Pope, and the other 50 or 40 percent would just as soon be wherever they had come from. And I really think now, as, as we draw to the conclusion of our first school year, Probably 90 to 95 percent of the students, uh, if asked, would prefer to be at Pope, and only about 5 percent would go back from whence they came. And uh, that probably, to me, is the single most gratifying thing that uh, we've had this year. In terms of student activities, uh, I don't know of another new school that had a junior sophomore prom in their first year. It went beautifully. Uh, I do not know of another school uh, in its first year that won a region championship uh, in a varsity sport. Uh, I do not know of uh, another school in the first year that had uh, state champions in any sport in athletics. So I think we've accomplished some things at Pope in our first year that no other new school that I'm aware of has accomplished in their first year. I think our school spirit is very good right now and when we uh, begin varsity football and varsity basketball uh, next year and, and have a pep rally and get a senior class and a full junior class in, I think the school spirit will do nothing but grow. I think we've elected excellent SGA leaders for next year that will do a wonderful job working with the student body and we will in all likelihood elect excellent class officers next year. But again, I think the most important thing is the fact that, that the teachers that came to Pope this year and the ones that we're going to be bringing to Pope next year are excellent. They will provide the students with an outstanding opportunity for the best high school education possible and that the students' attitude right now about this school after our first year of operation is very good. And to me, those are the most important two things in Pope this year.